Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another episode of Adobe Premiere Pro Free Class. Today I'm going to show you different methods to put your clips on your timeline. So here is a blank project and from here we're going to start working. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll highly suggest you to watch those videos from here so that you can have a better idea what I'm doing on this video. So first we need to import some clips and audios, right? So here are some clips and audios inside of this folder, which is audio and clips folder. I'm just selecting those folder and clicking and dragging this folder on my project panel it will import the files here on premiere pro i'll put a link in the description below you can just click and download the files to follow along with me so here is the audio file and here is a video file if i just click here to open the folder i'll see there are some video clips and we're going to work with these clips i want to make a new sequence to make a new sequence there are a lot of method i have discussed those on my previous video you can watch that from here so I'm just clicking and dragging this clip here on my timeline to make a new sequence. So this is a new sequence, right? I want to insert those clips on my timeline too. So how can I do that? If I just click and drag these files, it will import the whole video on my timeline. I don't want that. I want to pre-cut the video before inserting those on my timeline. So if I just double click here, it will open the clip on a source monitor. This is a bigger monitor. Before you are importing the clip on your timeline, you can chop the video trim the video from here you can import just the video files or just the audio files using this source monitor so if i just press space bar it will play back the video file right so if i just go to in the beginning portion of this video and press space bar okay i want to start the video from this portion right i don't want to have the beginning part i want to have the video should start from this portion to make a in point on this portion you can just click here on this marking button you can just click here it will make a in point again i'm just pressing space bar to play back the video i want to have a in point of this clip on this portion to have a in point you can just click here on this mark out button if you click here it will make a out point similarly if you are comfortable to work with keyboard which is i'll highly suggest you to remember the keyboard shortcut if you just press i on your keyboard it will make a in point of this clip and if you press o on your keyboard it will make a out point so if i just want to insert the clip here on my timeline what can i do i can just click and drag the video here on the timeline it will import the video right it will not importing the whole video it is just importing that portion that i have selected so again look at the process if i just click and drag this video here on the timeline it will insert the video clip and the audio clip if i just press space bar it will play back the file right but suppose you don't want to insert the audio you just want to insert the video on your timeline what can you do so here on the source monitor you will have a button which will call drag video only if you just click and drag this video only button then it will insert the video file only not the audio file you can see the audio file is not visible here again if you just want to insert the audio file not the video file then you can click and drag this button which is drag audio only if you click here then you can just insert the audio file here right so this is the audio file not the video file again this is the video file here the audio file is not present so another thing here where you are selecting the in point or out point in the source monitor you are just watching the video to select the point right suppose you want to decide the in point and out point by listening the clip or just watching the audio right what can you do you can just click here on this button which is drag only audio you can click here then it will show the audio waveform of that video for some clips by watching the audio waveform you'll have an idea where the clip stopped or where the clips has begun especially for the bloggers maybe you have a lot of pauses on your video by watching the waveform you will have an idea so that you don't need to play back the whole video right again if you want to see the video then you can just click on this video section it will show the video so we have learned several ways to insert file on my timeline again there is another quick way to insert file on your timeline suppose i want to insert a clip here right so if i just make a in point and out point then if i press comma key on my keyboard it will insert the file on that exact point where my playhead is again if i press comma key it will insert the video file again 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 right you can also do that to speed up your working process suppose you want to insert that video file here you can just 
drag this playhead on this position then you can press comma key to insert that file it will insert that file and move other files on the right side so that is a quick way to insert files on your timeline let's go to our project folder again now suppose you want to insert this clip here on the timeline if you just release it it is inserting the clip here right but if you want to insert it on this position if you release it it will override the clip right but you don't want that you want to insert the clip here but you don't override this clip so what can you do just select the file and then drag that on the timeline but when you are releasing just press ctrl on your keyboard then if you release it it will insert the clip here and it will also ship the clips on the right section so that it doesn't override that clip again suppose you have inserted whole bunch of clip on your timeline but suddenly you have realized that you have inserted this clip by mistake and you want to replace this clip with another clip what can you do will you delete the clip and again input a new clip no you can just click and drag this clip here on this clip and you can press alter key then release it it will replace the clip with a newer clip so that is a quick way to replace a clip on your timeline so that's it that is how you can insert different clips on your timeline i hope you have learned something new from this one if you have liked this video or learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye